Hello gamers and welcome back, I'm Rob of course at Warshack if you want to call me by my in-game name and we're going to be continuing on with our free-to-play accounts, our 1 and 2 Shaman deck and Arena. We need to knock out 3 games in order to get the 3 free Frozen Throne packs so we can make a new spot on our quest uh, for normal quests and not exclusive quests. I still don't understand why um, whenever they have like a special event quest, it takes over one of the normal slots, which I was saving for something. <laughs> like I, I'm pretty sure I had a pretty high gold quest for that. I don't know what the fuck happened. They just removed it, which I don't think is cool at all. I think special event quest should be in a separate special event category for quests. But yeah, hey, you know, I'm not a multi-billion dollar company with great ideas. So who the fuck am I to tell them what they should and shouldn't do? Uh, but it, it seems like it would be an okay idea. I don't know, Maybe, you know who the fuck knows. But anyway. <laughs> Um, I think we can push past one and two with this deck. Job done. The fact that we're going against a warrior is a fantastic sign. I think I've only gone against two warriors in the entirety of my free-to-play arena session on this particular account. So going against one now, I think is quite nice. I think we have a good chance. One shot. Hmm. One... Elven Archer value. Dude, that is fucking crazy. Dude, this guy's next level. He just whipped out the Elven Archer and win face. I I like it, and I like it a lot. Oh man, this guy is gonna ste I I have a feeling this guy's gonna cause me some trouble, man. I like the pantry spider. I don't know why. I feel like the sewer ooze was probably better, but the pantry spider, it just feels like it could do big things. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> I'm actually looking forward to playing a lot of player unknown, but unfortunately I need to still hit legend. Uh, hopefully by the time that you see this video, I should be legend. Um, but there's just so many games I wanna play. Like I wanna play the Destiny 2 beta. You know, I wanted to play more player unknown. I wanted to do all these things, and unfortunately, there's just not enough time in the day to play all the games I want to play and just get done with the videos that I want to do and make the thumbnails and work on new layovers and, like, the, um, you know, starting the offline uh, Twitch uh, screen needs to be redone. I need to change the fonts. Like, there's just, God, guys, there's so much shit to do and just not enough time. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's just the best on for curve that we can basically play right now. So, um, there's no reason to Jade Lightning anything, and then we're probably going to drop the Kodo or the uh, Psychotron onto 5. And then on 6, we'll probably go with, like, the Toxic Mistress Hero Power. I just didn't want to drop the Mixture until we at least healed for 2 or 3, possibly 4, but, yeah. So, the Kodo is looking fantastic. He should, he should trade into the Totem, but, you know, faces the place with a lot of these players. <sighs> so, Kodo gets rid of that guy, no problem. And, uh... Tempo's back in our favor. Mm -mm. The hatchling. Hmm. I think this is where Doomhammer comes into play. I don't. I don't like Jay Lightning this and the swinging. So we'll just casually take the damage, then we drop the mistress. So we've de developed the weapon, still have board control, take the damage. We're going to heal for the damage. He's still at 30, so we're going to heal up to 24. So we basically only took six from that, and we still have six charges left. So it's not too bad. If he develops a weapon, we have the Toxic Sewer Ooze, which I'm going to hold for quite some time just in case he happens to have Gore Howl or Arcanite Reaper or just something, you know, something crazy. You always can expect these warriors to have something crazy, man. They didn't just pick warrior because their Moo Moo Mr. Power Wagon said so. They picked it because they have some deep dish craziness going on. Alright, so I'm going to trade here just to get the heal in before we deal face damage. Um, I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit face another one. We're going to keep the remaining four charges for minions. I don't want to go down too low. Like, I'm only going to go down to, like, anywhere between 12 to 15 HP. But after that, I'm probably not going to go any lower due to weapon attacks. Oh. <sighs> Plus, we also have the Spirit Claws, so. Power consumes me. 
At the start of your turn, deal two damage to this minion. Okay. I don't really have to deal about this guy, but I do have to deal about the others. So. So this is going to kill off this. I don't mind taking four damage. No big deal. And this all goes face. And then this is going to take two. That puts it at five. He's going to trade there. Put it at two. And then one weapon charge is going to go into there. And the Prince of his loon will help us with our weapon attacks as well. <clears throat> Hold on one second, guys. Yeah, my sister just had a kid. That's why I was babysitting her, uh... <laughs> That's why I was babysitting her other kids. There's the doppelganger, but... <laughs> no evolve. Story of my life. So, that gets hit. So now do we send both charges and go down to 10? Or do we trade one of our murlocs? I think it's okay to trade one murloc. Now we gotta figure out, do we doppelganger? I think so. It's very willy-nilly, but I like it. I like the willy-nilly. It's just so bad, doppelganger with no evolve. <laughs> Lil, Lil X, I guess, all right, knife juggler. We've got the knife juggler synergy. <laughs> I understand why this deck is one and two. We've built it so fucked up. It was so good, and then it was just so bad at the same time. I was like freaking out when I was building it. I have no idea why. Good news is at least we can kill these guys. Is this an elemental? No, nothing's an elemental. Of course we picked fucking Servant of Calamos. What the shit does this do us? I have no fucking clue. I have no idea. So this goes here. This here. This here. I might have fucked this all up, but I don't think I did. Now I need to play a taunt to protect this mana tide. I need to heal up to make sure we don't die to some random burst shit. There's an elemental, so we get to play that next turn with the servant following. Mana tide's keeping us in play right now. It was just impo er, important that we played a taunt in front of the mana tide. So now that he can't actively hit it. And I will just keep getting value. Feels nice, Mon. I just texted Chavo. I'm like, Black Desert or a uh, pug? He's like, what the fuck happened to sleep? Because I was really, uh, it was like 10-ish. And I was like, yo, I'm going to go to bed. Good night. <laughs> 11.30, text him back. You ready to game, bro? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Rob? <laughs> you literally, within an hour ago, said you were going to sleep. Now, all of a sudden, you roaring to go again? I'm taking damage. I ain't no fool. I go deep, and I'm not scared. I'm going sewer toxic ooze, too. We're going for lethal next turn, baby. There's another elemental. I don't think you're a brawl. I ain't scared. I know... Poon swa, no pussy wangler. He top decks brawl. I cry every time. Nah, he like. I'm trying to think of how he rip lethal here. Kieran tor, Kieran tor, inner rage execute. No, that's four cards, and that's only ten damage. And that can't attack face. So we're pushing seven, seven demolish. Seven damage plus five. Brothers, call. Yes. This was what I was looking for. Mana tie the true MVP. I don't understand how we're at the same life total. Oh, wait, weapons. Understood. Ooh, that's a big guy. Six nine. Okay. Ooh. Spicy. 
That's nice. I'd rather not take six. <laughs> so we're casually going to trade there. Mana tied. Crazy. Yo, are we, are we sure this guy doesn't have like some tier one warrior deck right here? <laughs> this guy has been pulling out the Mr. Moo Moo power wagon the whole game. So he goes to nine and this is six. That's eight. We need one damage and we don't have one damage. That's unfortunate. Now we have one damage. We're one, uh, one draw away. Why did he at least attack the 2-4 before he did that? And then he could have silenced the mana tide. Why didn't he silence the mana tide to begin with? The taunt doesn't mean anything. I have no idea. I don't understand. It's probably because he's a warrior. All right, two more games. We get two free packs of the new Frozen Throne. Very exciting. And we know in the first 10 packs that we're going to get a legendary. I don't think they're going to give out 10 packs for free, but we always can dream, right? <clears throat> On top of everything that I mentioned the actually I'm not even gonna mention it yet. it's still a surprise for you guys I'll leave it I'll leave it in the surprise mode because I still have to do so much work to get this next thing into motion it's gonna be basically everything I'm doing now times it by two but it's gonna be great I, I think it I'll think it'll be really really good for a lot of you subscribers who uh, are viewers who um, just enjoy the content in general regardless of it being Hearthstone or not and um, I'm gonna be focusing you guys in on a lot more and this next step that we're going to take is going to be really nice. Well, hopefully. Right. You don't really know until you implement, but I'm going to do my best. But it's going to take a decent amount of time, and I'm, I'm working with a couple other uh, couple other people on this in regards to, like, you know, I can't give out too much because then you'll figure it out. But it's, uh, it's going to be good. Some of you on Twitch already know. You got a little preview. But, uh... I guess I'll give you a little tent. If you go onto the channel, and under the featured channels list, it's the first featured channel. That should be enough. And I'll give you enough information. There's not going to be too much there, because again, still working on it, still brewing. But, expect something like that. It's going to be good. Sorry about that. I already have a whole bunch of content lined up. Just waiting for the rest, rest of the, uh, the graphic work to be done. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the Ooh, this is super nice. Like, this is just perfect curve kind of shit right here. Like, right now, he thinks he's playing a tier one, sh like, token shaman list. Minus the knife juggler. <laughs> Earth Elemental on five. Like, how does a druid even begin to deal with that? This he tuck a, tuck a mana tide behind an Earth Elemental in arena. Like, what the fuck? Like, it all depends on what he does here. It depends where these bombs go. No big deal. Okay, as long as he didn't kill the uh, the knife. Oh shit, he can't kill the knife juggler. Okay, never mind. I think I'm gonna go Doom Hammer here instead. So Doom Hammer kill. Eh, I don't know. Earth Elemental could be better. <sighs> So if we play, eh. I just like Doom Hammer, and then we're overloaded two there on six, and then we have four mana, and it's kind of just like, eh, what do we do? Is 
This is just like big bad 7-8 on turn 5. What the fuck does he do against this? I guess naturalize. Holy shit, that'd fuck me. Because it costs one mana. I draw two, but my hand's already huge and his hand's huge. So like two cards in the beginning of the game when you can't even play a bunch of stuff at one time anyway isn't as valuable as like when you have 10 mana and you draw two cards when you can play both right away. Much different. <gasps> oh. Uh, that's bad. Doomhammer was the play. <laughs> Faceless manipulator, man. We just got cooked. We got cooked hard. <clears throat> Not going to make the attack. it doesn't actually die i think i might make the like let's say he doesn't attack this turn i'm gonna make the attack and then uh youthful brewmaster the earth elemental back to my hand i want to force him to have to hero power to kill it but because we played two minions that have one attack we'll be able to easily trade into his so it's no big deal so it's basically does he want to take seven to the face i don't think he does so i think he's going to develop and pass again which gives us the ability to brewmaster and then actually kill the seven eight which means we can, we're overloaded one though, because we did play the lightning, so we can't actually redevelop the earth element. Oh, he's gonna take seven to the face? No fucking way. Does he have swipe? No, 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 no. You don't have swipe. Starfall? That's so good. Are you kidding me? No way. Claw two, innervate hero power, dude. You got me fucked up. Who's got the fucked up? He's got me fucked up. It's all right. It's all part of the plan. This only works on the but you didn't see that one coming. Ugh. Take no damage. Hua. Senor. Hua. 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 I got backup plans. I ain't scared. I know pussy wangler. That's right. Lunar Visions. Okay. That was your entire turn. <laughs> that was your entire turn. Minus that. Alright, so what we what we trying to accomplish here? What what we what we what we doing? What what we What are we conjuring? Alien elementals? Oh yes. This guy. I'm going to attack face because we have the doom hammer in hand. So, I mean, next turn we attack and then we're probably developing it after next turn, which means we'll attack this turn regardless. Blaze caller, I think, is going to come and clutch this turn. We could actually brewmaster the blaze caller, then blaze caller again the following turn. <laughs> Very important. What you got for me, fam? What you gonna do? Yo, J B coming at me live. The J Druid in arena. Hmm. I think this goes, yeah, that goes here, this goes here, that there, that there, that there. Dude, that works out so well. I mean, really weak to swipe, but I mean, this is arena. We don't really play around swipe. And it's going to be good again next turn, too, because we played an elemental, him. I wonder if that counts. We'll have to see. I think it does. I don't think we brewmaster anything else. I think that's a good... That's basically almost a fireball. 
I mean, it's a seven mana fireball, but fuck, we're a shaman. We don't got fireball. I want to be a mage. Shaman want to be mage, 2k17. <sighs> he knows whatever he plays is going to get wrecked. So, uh, choose wisely, young Pyra. I wonder if Chavo said back. Nothing. Yo, wild pyromancer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good news is that we don't have to play this next turn. We always can just trade off our Ignis. And that gives us elementals, and we can just play those one at a time. So he really doesn't know when we play the Blaze Caller. We have a couple turns to kind of decide, you know what I'm saying? All right, so he's going for the armor. And then the hero power to kill the 3-1. Uh, but then our 1-1 one, one trades perfectly, and we actually don't even have to develop the uh, Blaze Caller this turn. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to hold back. We're just going to go super wide here. Let's see what Chavo had to say. We just got a text with a lail in it. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's Chavo sleeping with a hot dog over his bed, doing some sort of erotic dance. Seems interesting. So this 3-2 trades into this 3-5, so it doesn't kill that. We also could Blaze Caller to keep this 3-2 alive. Is it worth it? Depends what we draw. I think I'm going to keep it alive. So, how much damage are we pushing? We're pushing 6, 4, 10, 14, 19, 20 damage. We are at exact lethal if he does not hero power. And also does not uh, go along with what we draw. Like, if we draw a... Uh, I guess there's nothing that we could draw that we'd play. Because the only spell that we have is Jade Lightning. And we can't combo that with Blaze Caller. So, we have 20 damage if he doesn't hero power. And I suppose he would know that because he knows we have Blaze Caller and we've been spacing out our elementals one per turn to make sure that we can use his ability whenever we want. But he doesn't know. So it's like, oh, I'm going to hold back this turn while I'm just going to play an elemental. So if you play a minion worth killing, eh, we're going to do that. Okay, so that trades there. I don't really care. If you hero power into it, you still take four, but he gains that one armor. So I suppose we're going to be one off lethal if his hero power does in fact kill that four one. That's pretty good. It's card draw and evolving spores. He wants taunt. If he doesn't get taunt, we have lethal. All right, so you don't have lethal anymore because he taunted. So that goes there. I really like the four one into there, and then we trade once. Eh, but we could actually just a uh, double trade trade. No, that makes sense. That goes. That goes. That goes. All right, so we have lethal next turn. Has a 33% chance he would have gotten taunt on all of those minions. It's pretty good. He played his outs. Gotta respect it. All right. So we're gonna play our last arena game. I mean, if we lose, then we, it's not our last arena game. But if we win, it's our last arena game. We get the three packs, we lock in, play some Black Desert Online. For some of you, you're like, why don't you post Black Desert Online? Well, Destiny 2 is a huge game, gonna be a huge game. Look how those videos did. Posting Black Desert Online, whew, that's a smaller MMO, not even close to WoW. Imagine how those videos are gonna do. No one's gonna watch that shit. Some of you will, which is good, but you know, I don't wanna dilute the channel too much. Got to keep it kind of blizzard based, you know, that's why we do overwatch and 
stuff like that. Player unknown, not Blizzard based, but still like, you know, really, really, it's the biggest game on Twitch almost every day now. It's top two, top three. So, you know, a lot of people play that. So, Player Unknown knows and will do well, you know, we're kind of fucked. I think we can keep Ignis Elemental. It doesn't seem to be a bad card. Gives us a lot of good tempo. Not tempo, but value to keep the minions rolling, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Not a bad hand. I think we can pull off a win here. We got the two, three, four. Bulkania, you know what I mean? Bulkania. Do we ever coin into Knife Juggler? I think so. It's weak to Jade Claws, but besides that, we can just Hero Power Summon a Totem. Hopefully, it hits the uh, Buccaneer, and we'll be all right. But if I guess he plays Jade Claws, we are so fucked. Taunt Totem? All right, that's fine. All right, so we're going to hope to God that this uh, Hero Power hits this Totem. And if it doesn't hit the totem, we want it to be a taunt totem or a healing totem. Come on, Lucy. All right, it's a healing totem, though, so it's okay. So it was a 50-50 and then a 50-50 again. So it was like, you should go face. There you go. Like, it, it, it's almost, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's kind of, uh, hmm. Do we attack into this 1-1 one, one and then Firefly and summon a dude and hope both pings hit the lookout? Or do we just trade here and then play the uh, Illusionist? I'm feeling some good RNG, man. All right, Taunt Totem. Whew! Mm-hmm. Easy. 33%. I'm pulling it. No big deal. No big deal. We get it done. We get it right. We get it tight. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Alright, so now we need this thing from below to hit the 3-2. Or we would Jade Lightning this, trade there. Then we only get a 1-1 one, one and a healing totem down. We also need to play an elemental. So... Hmm. This is a... This is a difficult one. Hit the 3-2. Hit the 3-2. Ooh. There it is. There it is. So now I get to play Servant of Calamos. Oh shit. He gets to play Servant of Calamos. But mine actually gets the ability. Ooh. The thing from below, Lightning Bolt, is, uh. It's too juicy to pass up here. <laughs> as, as much as this value gives, man. A servant and a good that, that's that's too much tempo, man. This five five can test the four five or four three libs. If we would have gone servant, we would have had to trade differently, we would have lost more minions, gained more value, but arena's all about board control and I I gotta take it while it's there, man. I do I I can't pass up an opportunity like that. Yeah, he uh, even had a volcano. That's a good sign. And it didn't even kill our whole board. Holy shit. That is fantastic. So we can go this guy, Hero Power, or we can go Doppelganger. I kind of like this guy, Hero Power. Somebody didn't do math. Yeah, three packs feels nice. We turn this one and two into four and two. That's really not that bad. We got another pack. Never mind. Those are the packs that we just got. All right. We're just going to cancel what I just set out. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this episode there. Thanks for watching. 3-0. and Feels good. Hopefully we can keep it going in the arena. Maybe go 5-1. and one. Or 5-3 five, five and three would be all right with this deck. Uh, anything more than that, I'm very, very, very surprised. So I'll catch you in the next episode, of course. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Robert Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.